Welcome everybody. In this video, I'll introduce a quick and interesting way to sum the consecutive even numbers. So let's start with the first example. So in this example, I'm just adding the first five even numbers here, starting from two. I add two, four, six, eight, ten together, and um, even without calculator. And um, let's assume you can't do it quickly by manual calculation. And the quick trick is now. The first step is you need to count the number of even numbers you're adding. So altogether, there are five numbers. So please write down five here. And five needs to multiply by the next number. And the next number is that you need to add one to five. So this number, I'm saying that it must be five plus one, which is six here. Now I claim that uh, five times six, which is 30, is actually the answer to the original problem. Please uh, check by calculator, it's actually correct, it's 30 here. I know this example is not interesting because there are only 5 even numbers. So how about you have way more than 5 even numbers and you want to add them together. So how to do it? So now it's a huge sum here starting from 2. I'm adding all the even numbers starting from 2 up to 200 here. So again, the first step now is that you need to write down the number that represents the total number of even numbers you're adding so total number of even numbers you're adding how many there can you tell me uh, up to 200 there should be 100 even numbers you're adding so um, now the first number here becomes 100 and again 100 needs to be multiplied to the number that is 1 above it which is 101 because 101 is 100 plus 1 here and now please do the calculation now this number becomes um, Two zero two zero zero, and um, I'm sorry. It should be one zero one zero zero, and I claim that this number is actually the uh, the answer to this problem. Please check it by calculator yourself. It takes a bit of time because you're adding one hundred numbers together, but you should be able to get that it's one zero one zero zero here as the final answer. So to give you more variation to this way of working, please look at the next example now. So please note that this example is slightly more complicated because um, I'm not starting to add the even numbers from 2. I'm starting from um, the number 12 here and I add all the even numbers up to 100. So you can't use the previous way um, to do this problem because um, they are just not the same. In the previous two problems, I take advantage of the fact that we start from 2 so it's much easier. So how to twist the problem a little bit to apply the method I used in the previous two examples. The way is the following. You can imagine that I actually add all the even numbers starting from 2 first. 2, 4, 6, etc. up to 100. So basically you're adding all these numbers first and then you just have to subtract the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 I believe. So please think about it yourself, it actually makes sense because now the first 10 terms here from 2 to 10 are cancelled out by the, this 2 to 10 here because I'm using a subtraction here. Now please note that um, these two things, you can apply my previous method um, in these two brackets separately so you are able to arrive at the following. Please note here, for the first bracket here all together there are 50, 5 zero even numbers, 50 and needs to multiply to 51. As I said, this number has to be 50 plus 1 anyway. So now it has to be subtract, uh, you have to minus um, the second thing here, the second thing here. You have 5 even numbers, so it needs to be multiplied by 6 here. So now please do this calculation yourself, it becomes 50 times 51 minus 30. And uh, 50 times 51 becomes 2550 minus 30. So now this final answer is 2520 as the final answer to my problem here. So please check by calculator that is actually correct here. And I believe that by calculator you have to take um, a lot more time to get this answer. A um, lot slower than my method here. So anyway, that's the end to this problem and also to this video and um, again I will post a couple of questions for you to do the exercise please look at the following here 
So please try two examples here. Ah,、uh, please follow my previous way of working for the three examples. You should be able to get the answer yourself. And please don't forget to check your answer by the calculator. And you will notice that my method is actually a lot quicker than using calculator here. And anyway, thank you everybody. That's the end of the video.